There are millions of people in the world using sign language, and a big part of them are in China. And right now, we know that information technology, especially the computer, grow up very fast. So from my view, I think it's the right time to develop some technology to help them. This project is uh, a sign language translator. It translates from one sign language to another. It helps the hearing and the deaf communicate. You can communicate between American Sign Language and Chinese Sign Language, or potentially any sign languages to any other natural language. The uh, Connect will capture the sign language and then recognize the meaning of the sign language, including the posture, the trajectory, and then there's an automatic translation into spoken language. I really like this. The basic modes are a translator mode and a communication mode. And the translator mode is just showing how single words can be translated from a sign into a written form or how to translate a written form into a sign. In communication mode, we can actually use a translation of full sentences. The avatar is used in the system to represent the hearing person doing signing. How about our system? It's a proxy for the hearing person. It helps me to connect with others. Since I'm the graphics guy, so my main responsibility is to help them to develop a very efficient and good quality avatar so that the people can use this avatar to generate some sound language there to communicate with other people. With the sequence sequential, from one posture to another and combining also the trajectory, so we could use machine learning technology and pattern recognition technology to make the final decision of what the means of the gesture. 你好. Imagine a, a deaf person walking into a doctor's office. The doctor is a regular doctor, probably can't speak in sign language. Hello, my name is Dr. Wang. What is hurting you? But the patient wants to communicate with the doctor. Today they'd have to use uh, maybe writing and it would be very artificial. But here with this technology, they could use signing and the doctor would be able to understand that, that signing. So another scenario is a, an information kiosk, say at an airport. Hello, how can I help you? And rather than say the person seeking information at that kiosk being deaf, imagine if the person at the information kiosk was, was deaf. Which way is the taxi stand? Now a hearing person could come to that kiosk and ask taxi? questions of the deaf person and the system could help them communicate with the deaf person and vice versa. Please go outside the terminal and make a left. Mm. Great, thank you. If I can pick a keyword for this project, that will be collaboration. Because this project wouldn't be possible uh, without experts in the sign language, experts in integration of the whole system, and also from Microsoft research side, some key technologies. The main benefit to collaborate with Microsoft Research Asia is they could give us more support on Kinect technology itself because Kinect from Microsoft and also they have some experts in machine translation and this is also a kind of language translation from sign language to spoken language. So I think the great thing about this uh, collaboration is people coming from totally different disciplines and from the different organizations there. So I, I really learned a lot from it. So one of the things that we're doing with this project is working with the deaf community directly. We're working with a, a school in China for the deaf. And they've helped us understand better that there's quite an isolated feeling in being deaf, even today. What overwhelmingly you feel when you see it working is a certain magic, but you, you know that there's more work to do, but you can see the potential there, that, that one day this is going to be something that is going to transform lives.